Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. He's going to get boned. Scotty doesn't know. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a fake Boglehead investor. I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. Go buy my book, bro. And we got to talk about this drama. Now, I'm a certified CPA accountant, and my skill set is to look at financial statements and to file taxes, of course. But I've been distracted. I've been distracted from analyzing companies from an accounting perspective and telling you what trash stocks not to buy because of a clown named Scott Schaefer who's been attacking me, making up vicious, disgusting lies about me. <laughs> and now, old Scotty boy, oh, I'm a good person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm exposing the grifters. Hey, what's your mom's address? <laughs> Scotty boy is now getting sued not by some small, no-name YouTuber, okay? Not by some broke boy. No! Scotty boy has incurred the wrath, the ire, the Russian vodka-fueled rage of Tom Nash. Ah! <laughs> now, why is Tom Nash... Okay, he's got, like, what, 250,000 subs or something like that? If you have more, I'm sorry. I didn't check before I made this video. But why is Tom Nash suing this guy named Scott Schaefer? <laughs> well, Scott wants to be a guru slayer, okay? He wants to be the next CoffeeZilla because he's desperate. He lives with his mom. Don't harass his mom, please, okay? She's innocent. At least I think so. Don't harass his mom. He lives with his mommy. He has a bunch of failed businesses. And the only thing that he has going for him is some Pokemon card thing that was a bubble. And... His YouTube channel. And this guy, think about it. You're 33. You live with your mom. I, I don't think he has a girlfriend. <laughs> I would be shocked if he did. You're a massive loser. Dude, I'm about to turn 33. I got two kids, a house, and six figs in the bank. And a job! <laughs> I'm a loser, though. Scott's a genius. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you would be desperate, okay? So what Scott's doing is he's releasing as much personal, private information as he can to grow his YouTube channel and become the, nef the next Grifter Slayer. Now with Tom Nash, it seems like he took it a step too far. So Tom purposely hides his name, his old name. Why? He says this to, you know, keep his, his family life private. Okay, and guess what guys? I've said this a thousand times. I knew Scott or uh, Tom's name for the last two or three months. He told me in confidence and because I'm not a freaking bussy, I don't leak names that somebody told me in private, especially because he wished me not to. But, oh, Scott knew it. Okay. <laughs> so come to find out, Scott was doing some research and apparently he found out a bunch of, uh, a, a bunch of information on Tom. And he kind of had Tom backed against the corner. And Tom was like, oh crap, I, I don't want my name out. I don't want my name released. You know, I want my information to be private. And then you got this freaking loser that lives with his mom. <laughs> Doggy food. Oh, oh, doggy diddler. <laughs> you have this loser living with his mom who's basically blackmailing you, saying that, you know, he's going to release this information. And you have to go ahead and Tom had to go ahead and negotiate with this freaking clown. So there came a point where Tom said, don't release my first name. Don't release my first name. And Scott, oh, but I want to be famous. Oh, Godzilla. Oh, you too bad revenue because I'm a loser with no job. Oh. He went ahead and released Tom's first name anyway. And then he went ahead and apologized to Tom afterwards, saying, hey, I thought you were a scammer, but you're actually legit. By the way, Tom sent me all his credentials too, so. <laughs> That's why I haven't been bashing him for being a fake guru. But uh, yeah, so uh, Scotty Boy went ahead and doxed out, released Tom's first name, despite his wishes. And then he reached out and said, oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a grifter, Tom, but you're actually not. And Tom's like, okay, can you delete the video where you released my first name? And of course, Snot doesn't delete the video out of respect. Why? 
I know why, because he's a loser that needs the ad revenue. He's that desperate that he left that video up, which exposes the first name of Tom that he did not want released because he needs the ad revenue. He's a loser. <laughs> That's a, oh, I need my 50 bucks in ad revenue. I can't, I can't lose this. I got an electric bill coming up. And now Tom is pissed. So apparently he went on a Echo from, Echoes from Above's live stream yesterday and you know released a ton of information about how Tom, or, uh, Scott blackmailed him, backed him into a corner, and then refused to take the video down where he releases Tom's first name. Because apparently Tom's name you know, helps you identify where he actually lives. And the funny thing is, Scott is such a rat, right? You know, this is all carefully calculated to make his channel grow. So he can go from being a loser that lives with his mommy to a famous YouTuber. What he's doing is, he even told Tom, he's like, hey, uh, oh God. He's like, hey, Tom, can you, uh, can you react to the video acting all angry and stuff and da, 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 you know, so he can get attention on Tom's channel. Like a freaking loser. He's like basically begging a larger YouTuber. Oh, please talk about me. Oh, please talk about me. What a bussy. And of course, you know, Tom wasn't happy about it. So now Tom's suing him. <laughs> so here's what freaking bussy boy Scott Schaefer is going to do. Okay. I can predict this 100%. Number one, he's going to make a video exonerating himself. Uh, I, I'm the bad guy. This was a conspiracy by uh, Echoes from Above to, to screw me over. Or something like that. Okay. He's going to make a video saying he's innocent. He's going to start a GoFundMe. Okay. He's going to milk this as much as he can. He's going to start a GoFundMe to pay for legal fees. We'll see if he actually donates the proceeds to charity. My suspicion is he'll start a GoFundMe and then say, oh, anything I don't use for my legal fees, I'm, I'm putting it in a charity. So basically all his fans are going to pay him. They're going to pay him. They're going to take their money to pay for a case where he got, where he was responsible for exposing somebody's name that he want that person wanted to keep private. So basically he's scamming you guys to pay for a case where he's probably guilty. And then he's going to email Coffeezilla, all these other big YouTubers and try to have them make a video about it. And the whole point is that he gets public support because think, think about Atozi, right? Atozi got sued by BitBoy. Uh, Bussy Boy. BitBussy. Atozi got hundreds of thousands of dollars donated to him. Now, you think if Scott got hundreds of thousands of dollars donated to him, and let's say he had a thing on his uh, GoFundMe, oh, I'm going to donate this to charity. Do you think he would actually do that? <laughs> See, like, somebody like me, like, I already have money. I don't need to freaking keep $100,000. Oh, I mean, it's something. It would be tempting, but I'm not going to do it. Scott is such a desperate, broke loser that he would, I suspect he would keep the money. <laughs> so he's going to email all these people. He's going to try to get attention on his channel. He's probably going to start a GoFundMe. He's going to release a video saying that he's innocent. And all his stupid fans are going to donate. Oh, here's money because, uh, you know, you exposed Tom Nash's first name despite his wishes. <laughs> Guys, Scott needs to go. Okay, this guy's a freaking liar. He lies through his teeth. He's obviously in it only for the money. He's doing the grifter slaying thing because I had success in it. I'm bored of that crap now. Go ahead, Scott. Go ahead and be the grifter slayer with no financial back. Oh, yeah. This is a bad stock because uh, it went down. Uh. Go ahead, Bussy. But if you're going to donate to this loser's freaking GoFundMe, which I guarantee you is coming out, and if you support this clown for releasing information that somebody wanted to keep private to expose them and leaving the video up for his ad revenue. I don't know what to tell you, okay? So I'm, la I'm laughing so hard because this Scott is a rat. He's a freaking rat, okay? I knew it from the moment that I started interacting with him. When I first saw him, I was like, I reached out. I was like, hey, we should collaborate, man. And of course, he didn't respond because his whole intention wasn't to, you know, collaborate. His whole intention was to delegitimize every other person in the space with lies and manipulations and then become the king of YouTube finance grifting because he's desperate. <laughs> he's a desperate loser. <laughs> so I hope this clown loses everything. The funny thing is, he really, I don't even think he has any assets. Like, well, what is Tom going to get? His freaking uh, computer camera? <laughs> his credit card debt? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I got to get to work. Talk to you later. Cheers.